The Flash issue 758 sees Barry learn the attack on Central City lasted exactly 5 minutes and 13 seconds, making him realise it was his birth date, May 13th. This seals the deal for him that Reverse Flash is attacking not the Flash, but Barry Allen. Flash, Kid Flash and Avery Ho get to work, helping out the people at the attack locations, but Barry can see from the people's eyes that they are all wondering where he was when it happened. He knows saving his family first made Central City pay the price, and that's what Thorne wanted. Barry finds his lab has also been hit, knowing that it was the one place that helped him separate Barry Allen and the Flash, since no matter what happened, he could always retreat there, but now it's all gone. Iris says that he can rebuild, but he knows that it's not that easy since it wouldn't be the same, and it would be selfish for him to do that. He knows the rogues are still out there, and that Thorne is toying with him and making him doubt himself. Iris asks him what he wants to do, and Barry tells her that he will need to start thinking like Eobard. She says the villain is a monster and Barry hates letting him inside his head, but he needs to do it in order to locate his enemies. The Legion of Zoom meanwhile all gather together, but Captain Cole doesn't trust all of this time travel nonsense, as well as the fact that they are still in the town after an attack, which isn't a good sign at all. Grodd says that he doesn't run and if helping this speedster will get him his birthright, then he will help him. Turtle says that Grodd can't handle the speed force, but Grodd threatens to eat his brain brains, telling him one day he will bow to him. Trickster calms them all down, knowing Reverse Flash keeps them in the dark, since he pulled them all from across time, and apparently they are just to sit there and wait, but he knows that they should be out having fun, as the Reverse Flash returns, grabbing the villain and telling him that patience is a virtue. Cold reassures him that they all know he's the boss, but he wants to know what they will do when the Flash finds them. Eobard says the Flash will d indeed find them, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, but luckily he's got a secret weapon. The Flash family meanwhile get ready to go into hiding, but Iris knows it's more of a plan to not underestimate Thorn. Barry knows that the family will be the next target, so they need to get out of the city. He knows Thorn has recruited a new Legion of Zune since they were attacking the city, and Wallace points out that the Captain Cold and Golden Glider are in their old costumes, making him think that they are from different eras in the past. Avery tells him that they have to leave, so the family, including Iris, take off as Barry remembers the case that he was investigating before all this happened, the case similar to his mother's murder. He knows Thorne will be going for his father next, so Barry calls Henry, asking if he saw what happened to Central City. Henry did, and luckily he's at the safe house. Barry is upset that they haven't talked much, but Henry understands since he's busy, but he's proud of his son, and he needs to know his family loves him. Barry finishes his call, heading to his childhood home and scoping out the place, where he soon finds an old flash Comic. Suddenly he is confronted by Dawn and Don, who find him wearing his old costume in real life and not in hollow videos weird. The siblings blast their father out of the house and into the street, demolishing the house around them as Barry apologises for the abandonment of his children. The twins don't care since he really doesn't remember anything since after helping with the multiverse incident and dying and returning to life, he never once decided to come back and pay them a visit. And it was Uncle Eobard who cared enough to pay them a visit and save their lives and show them how a real Flash acts. Barry wants them to get help, but the kids say they already have help as the Legion of Zoom surround Flash, beating him down until Dawn reminds them all that he is needed alive. Reverse Flash arrives, asking if Barry can see the finish line ahead of him. He tells the villains that when he came back from the 25th century, he tried to be the Flash and wore the costume and tried to run in his shoes, but Barry's presence was still felt and it was impossible to replace a legend. Eobard knows that that it's about time that changed as he begins vibrating, turning himself yellow and diving into Barry's body, taking control of it. Eobard says he's no longer the reverse Flash, but the Flash. Cold says that this wasn't part of the deal and they were promised knowledge of the future. Eobard reassures them that they will get that and more, but first he is a family to take care of. Elsewhere, Barry finds himself in an unknown void, knowing this isn't the Speed Force. Suddenly he is attacked by something fast as the zombified corpses of Max Mercury and Jesse Quick say he's got a lot to answer for and he should run. 
The Flash issue 758 was a damn good continuation of the Legion of Zune storyline that ended with two really amazing cliffhangers. I'm loving how appropriately fast paced this story is, with Barry kind of being kept on his toes the whole issue and whole run of this storyline by the villains as well as Reverse Flash's plans, with him having to think like the villain, but also the villain will have probably anticipated that, so Barry has to just kind of keep moving through the paces. The shocking ending with Eobide literally possessing Barry and pushing him out of his own body was so great and it led to an even bigger cliffhanger with Max Mercury and Jesse Quick. Characters I'm excited to see are returning, even if it's in speed zombie form. Even though this isn't Joshua Williamson's final Flash story, it definitely feels like it's culminating to a finale and I guess it kind of is since this is going to feed into the finish line story a little later on this year, but if they were to end this after this arc, I'd feel like we'd had a accomplished so much since this run has been going from strength to strength ever since the beginning of Rebirth and this feels like a culmination of all of that. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.